And a warm welcome to the Basque region here in Spain. We're in the wonderful city of Bilbao at the Estadio San Mames. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position, and I'm joined for expert analysis by my partner Stuart Robson. And coming up, pulsating action from La Liga EA Sports. It's Athletic Bilbao facing Villarreal. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, let's run the rule over the Athletic Bilbao starting lineup. De Marcos plays with Yuri Bebchiche in the fullback positions. And in this tactical setup, they have just the one player in attack. And here's a look at the starting 11 for Villarreal. Well, it's not fashionable, but 4-4-2 can still be a good system, both with and without the ball. Key to success today will be the wide players. They need to be the main creators. And the referee takes exception to the challenge. Free kick. Well, sadly, you've got to say, it all went horribly wrong for him. Well, he backed his technique. Unfortunately, on this occasion, it let him down badly. That's a poor effort. Vesca. Well, you can probably see why we're focusing on this fellow as one to watch. Stewart, in particular, what do you expect to see from him? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls round the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. Moreno. Moving the ball really well here. Traore. Femenia. Well, let's see about the cross. But it just petered out. De Marcos. Williams. Oh, he's blocked it! Alexander Surlot. Opportunity it is. In it goes. The opening goal in this contest. Well, first of all, where's the defending? They're all over the place. But give him some credit. That's a good finish. Great composure. Well, he has to get his team playing again. This isn't going to plan. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Gerard Moreno. He's in control of the situation. Oh, that's a super piece of defending. Santi Comesanya. It's with Raul Albiol. Traore. Good idea. Just needs to stay calm. And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Racing forward, trying to catch them out.
Can he find the net? He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, as the replay shows, it all started with that perfectly weighted ball over the top of the back line. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Well, there we have it. The first half story has been written. It is half-time here in the Basque region. Well, an honest assessment, Stuart, would be that he hasn't really been on top of his game in attack. Well, Derek, he's usually so clever around the edge of the box, but today he just hasn't shown that. As the touch map shows us, he hasn't had enough touches... So back underway here into the second half. Well, not cleared away completely. And a strong tackle. Parejo. And the ball with Sir Lot. It's looking promising. Well, he had a decent reading of that ball in. Trying to pick out a teammate. Yuri Bertice and a good looking ball could be in and it's there for him and he's made it a brace for himself the defender is just unable to stay with him and he's having a field day well here it is again it's a wonderfully weighted ball over the top and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal Well, back to the drawing board, I'm afraid. His team have been really poor today. Three goals without reply. <laughs> Gerard Moreno. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Breaking at pace. Well, it looked so promising, but it all comes to nothing. Parejo. Traore. On to Moreno. And very deftly cut out. Now, who can he play it to? Vital intervention. Who can he pick out? Well, the keeper won't be complaining about that corner kick delivery. His ball all the way. Just ten minutes remaining here. Moreno. Well, mopping up defensively. And the substitution will occur now. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Well, good idea, but the execution wasn't quite right. And the upshot of that is offside. Well, he needed to look elsewhere because the flag was always going to go up. And they've been getting two substitutes warmed up and both will come on here. 
Williams in the right place to cut out the pass. So two minutes of stoppage time here. The defenders, though, no, you can't really allow space like that. And a fine cross. Appear to be in two minds. And there it is, the final whistle. And the fans will be leaving the stadium with smiles on their faces. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, in the final analysis, it certainly was a terrific performance from Iñaki Williams. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your assessment. Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals.